two major collaborations that, uh, that we, we benefit from the support of the FSM Forum. We managed to do for the first time a participatory lawmaking in Dominican Republic. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a request from the government to put together uh, with the colleagues in the legal department of FAO a draft law on food security. Uh, we say, okay, there's no sense that FAO does a draft law on food security. We need to do this with the country. And doing this with the country is not doing it with the Minister of Agriculture only, but with the rest of the ministries and with the population and with the different communal associations, universities, even private sector, everybody involved. Uh, we, uh, with the help of the team, we set this process in motion and then the, the food security draft law turned into the food sovereignty draft law. And this was the result of the people in Dominican Republic. We just simply uh, steered the process uh, with the invaluable help of the FSM Forum. Now, we are very happy to see that this draft law is now in the parliament for adoption. But we even visited the parliament. And when we visited the parliament, the person that receives all the draft laws in the country say, we wish that in more other laws, a similar process will take place in the country. Because when they come to the parliament, the laws have not been discussed, they have not been shared, and we waste so much time, and it's so expensive for the country, and it becomes so bureaucratic, and it becomes so lengthy. So the process approval law, if you disseminate it and share it with the population, and the population feels empowered, it's much easier to be adopted at the parliament, and then obviously it's much easier for everybody to implement. The other one is with the CARICOM. Mm -hmm. uh, the CARICOM put together a regional food security policy. Um, uh, there was a strong demand from the social movements to participate in the process, and we share the drafting of the food security policy for the region through the FSM Forum, and it worked in a very um, successful way. And a lot of what we are doing with the new uh, approach is really to some of these people that we meet in the field, make sure that they participate in the discussions. And they, they participate in the discussions on policies and on normative work that take place at the global, at the regional, and at the local level. And that is the vision that we are striving and we are fighting for from, from our unit. So how did we end up uh, working with the FSM Forum? Well, we needed a tool. And we needed a tool that was um, a professional, serious, but that could have the sensitivity of addressing all of these issues that are complex in nature. It is not, we didn't want to have a forum of technicians for technicians. There's many all over the world. We didn't have to have a forum where you have very complex texts and the people can make very interesting comments. We needed something that could blend different voices and different levels. So our experience with the FSM forum is really from the, from the users. We needed a tool that could convey messages both ways that we could gather information from the grassroots level, from the different organizations, from individuals, and at the same time that we could see page and distribute information in a very efficient way.